Hello everyone, welcome to Crystal's Crochet Cubby Hole. Just hopping on here real quick with just a few updates. Um, I am wore out from uh, my outing to Steel Creek Park <laughs> yesterday. We babysat, but we had a fantastic time. We went there and played in the sandbox and the playground, mostly sandbox. Um, walked quite a bit, um, took some pictures, uh, if you'll, you'll see that notice the little short I posted yesterday you'll see that so actually I guess I'm posting two videos today because you know the devotionals coming out first it should come out before this you'll see it but yesterday I did to post that uh, little short about our trip and outing to Steel Creek Park here in the area and we went to the Nature Center uh, I don't think I put any pictures in of the Nature Center so, um, but it's, it's got animals and stuff that are um, in our area that we have here in this area. Uh, foxes, coyotes, and we, and the neighbor texted me the other day and said that um, she just wanted to give me a heads up that she had seen a coyote going through our yard up toward her yard, because uh, she's directly behind us, going through the yard, our yards. Um, early the other morning like five or something um, and it was really large almost the size of a German Shepherd it was huge she said so I'm wondering was it coyote because they're not real real big or a wolf or whatever you know we have deer come through our yards um, but there I've seen several posts on Facebook and stuff of coyotes coming out in the area like in Kingsport and places like that so that's highly probable so, and she's had some chickens and ducks go missing. The next neighbor over has. So, we are just, you know, need to keep, you know, be alert. Because we do have the cats outside. And I don't know that it would go after cats. Maybe. They'd be more apt to fight back. <laughs> but anyway, there's that. My uh, two-year anniversary giveaway video. That I posted at the first of the month or on the fourth I think it was that ends on the 29th that's the last day to enter that and on March 1st I will be drawing that winner so that's got you got like a little over a week to enter that if you haven't went and watched that video and entered for those giveaways because there's several um, health wise I'm doing okay I forgot to take my medicine yesterday morning um, so I'm gonna have to try to do a different routine maybe put an alarm on my phone to remind me to take it every day it just some days things get kind of busy and it's not the normal routine and so I forgot so I missed one of my doses one of my sugar pill doses um, they said that's okay but as long as it's just the one time if it keep doing it then there would be an issue could be an issue so I've got to watch on that I guess this is kind of like an update just a chatting with me <laughs> in the cubby hole um let's see oh after steel creek we went to uh, a place that's called the lion's den board game cafe and they sell coffee and um a few sandwiches now they're starting to sell but they've got one side of the place is shelves of books that you can go and pick a book up and read and there's all these little chairs and stuff everywhere tables and chairs just really comfy cute little place and then on the other side is board games there's shelves full of board games and you can get your board game out have your friends all of you come there have coffee or whatever and play a game it's just really neat they've been there six months um that was my first time going i got uh oh i never can remember the name of that drink it is like a shot of espresso but it has a scoop of ice cream and like mine was dipped strawberry so mine was a scoop of strawberry ice cream in an, a shot of espresso with a drizzle of chocolate over top oh it was so good <laughs> and it's so small that it's you know it's safe <laughs> for me <laughs> so um and then i had a chicken salad on a croissant which was delicious and they're huge one's too much i you know can't have a whole one <laughs> but uh that was fun and you know spent some time looking at the books playing a game um just you know filled up our day 
we were all exhausted. I'm so exhausted today. <laughs> I guess, you know, I'm feeling better with losing weight and everything and changing my, you know, doing the lifestyle changes I'm doing with my diet and everything and exercise. But I'm still getting older, guys. And so it's wore me out. And I need to realize that, you know, even though I'm feeling good, I need to not go too far and push it too far. I need to be careful. Um, in fact, this will be, my birthday's in April. So this, from April on to next April, will be my last year in the 50s. <gasps> It's hard to believe I'm going to be 60 next year. I'll be 59 on my birthday this April. And then that'll be my last year in the 50s. I don't know how I feel about that right now. It makes me feel old, for sure. <laughs> but, um, guys, I've probably kept you long enough chattering away. Um, I'm working on a, uh, I'm doing a t test pattern doing a test for one of Connie's patterns from just another stitch the shamrock hat that she's going to be coming out with the pattern for sale soon so as soon as I get that done hopefully it, that'll be done well I know it I'll get it done t today or tomorrow probably because I've only got a few more pieces to crochet and then I'll sew it all together uh, it's a shamrock gnome hat D cute as can be so I will show you that when I get it done and then you can go Watch for that pattern to go live so that you can purchase it and make your own hat. <laughs> and um, then I'm uh, working on uh, my little corner to corner square. You know the lap, the lap gan I want to make for that with those corner to corner squares from the what the children got me over the last couple of years. Brittany and Peanut and stuff, and Cody got me some uh, little balls of yarn, and so. I can get two squares out of that yarn on the size I want. So um, I'll be able to make two throws and then I'm using the scrap that's left over which is not very much of each color. Uh, I'm rolling it up in a ball as I go and tying it together with an invisible knot. I'm going to make a little throw, a little pillow to go with that. Uh, <laughs> we'll see how that turns out. But um, <clears throat> that's what I'm doing there and I'm hoping to get it finished by the end of the year. I'm work Lori from um, Armchair Chef um, is doing a, a thing where you, you know, she's got people doing certain things. You got to pick, you know, like if you're going to exchange yarn and stuff like that. So she has that going on. I'm just going to finish one of my whips. Um, I hope I'm allowed to say all this. Lori, if I am not supposed to be talking about this, sorry. Please forgive me. Let me know, okay? <laughs> But, um, I didn't know if I was supposed to reveal that I was doing it. But anyway, um, I'm doing that. I've got to try to get that finished. I think that might have to be done by the end of the month, too. And I, I'm almost through with my squares. But, um, I've got to sew them all together. Or, you know, crochet them all together, whatever. Then the pillow, I don't, you know, got to make it, too. So, <laughs> we'll see. Um, so I'm trying to get those finished up. And at some point, I want to finish my lion that I'm making for my grandson. And, um, you know, get it knocked out and finished. I'm trying to get some of these whips out of the way. And, guys, I get so busy, I mean, with life, stuff going on, or I'm not feeling well some days, don't feel motivated to do some to crochet or anything, just want to be lazy. So, um, I got to try to work on that and do, do some more crocheting. Yeah, and then I need I want to try to do a tutorial again real soon um, maybe aim for next week and try to do that for you <clears throat> but I guess that's it for right now I have talked too much I said I was going to quit and I kept talking <laughs> but I love you guys appreciate you um, thank you for being a part of Crystal's Crochet Cubby Hole and being part of my Yarny family um but I guess that's it for right now. I love you guys. I will post Connie's link and Armchair Chef's link in the description box below. So you can check out their channels. If you're not subscribed, you might want to go and check out their content and consider subscribing to them. Shoot, I can't already say that. Um, but I love you guys. 
Appreciate you, and we will talk to you later in Christmas Crochet Cubby Hole. Bye for now.